Hello everyone! Okay, so I am not the kind of person that usually does unboxing videos because I really don't see the point. I'm more of a once it's out and review it kind of person. But um, I did get something in the mail today that I decided, you know what, this is kind of a big deal so I am going to do an unboxing video. And the reason is because I have been a major, major fan of the show Slayers. Or The Slayers, I guess. Um, for years. And I actually, one of my friends refers to it as my um, holy grail of anime because I will probably fight you if <laughs> you talk badly about it or anything. But um, yeah, so I'm doing an unboxing for I got something super awesome that I have been wanting for a long time. Like, I'm not talking a couple years, like two or three years. I'm talking like four or five or six. Like, I was very young when I started watching Slayers, because it was a 90s anime. Um, I was very young when I started watching it, and I became, like, I fell in love with the entire show, and later got it all on DVD. Um, before, they released a big, like, total package thing that you can get on DVD now, so I'm gonna get that too. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, this has been a long time coming, because I remember dreaming about um, owning this piece for a very long time, and thought maybe when I'm older, but they just got so rare as the years progressed that I never truly thought I'd be able to get my hands on one of these. So I'm like so excited. Um, anyway, I just got back from work. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to open this. Okay, so I'm going to open it. The, literally the only thing I've done is broken the seal that was here and taken out like a little packaging thing that was like for ordering it and stuff. Um, and this... Oh, crap, dreaded packing peanuts. Yeah, I, I was like, as soon as I saw the packing peanuts, I was like, crap, they're going to make me dig for it. Um, packing peanuts are my worst enemy. No. Oh, oh, ah. Just, yeah, just, okay. All right. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited right now. Oh, crap, I think I opened it on accident. Oh, Lena. It is a Lena figure! Oh my gosh, she's so much bigger than I first imagined. And she comes with gallery. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I should not be this excited. Also, in case you're wondering, um, I'm really excited about this, but I did end up paying a lot for it. This is now the most expensive anime piece I own. I have never paid this much for any piece of anime merchandise ever. Um, so please keep that in mind that if you want something, it's not for the faint of heart and you do have to pay quite a bit for it if you want to get, oh, there's packing peanuts even in the, it opened up, which is okay, I guess, because she is for display purposes, so I don't really mind, but yeah, here she is. I am so excited right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. They do have Ophelia, too, which um, I might get later. She does run a lot cheaper than Lena, if you if you ever manage to find a Lena. Because I'm telling you right now, the minute these things pop up, they're gone. Like, it's so hard to get one, let alone get one for a cheap price. You're not going to end up paying at least, you're going to pay at least 50 and I mean, if if you're crazy, like me, you're going to pay at least 80 because you want it that bad. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to take her out of this giant pegging peanut thing. And, yeah, I'm so excited right now. Oh, my gosh. Yay, so I got rid of those dreaded packing peanuts. Um, and here's the figure. Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy right now. She's awesome. She's really big. I I mean, she's not huge. I do have figures bigger than her. But for the size she is, I'm really happy. Her paint job is so detailed. I love it. Oh, gallery. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, it has this little official like sticker on the outside. And uh, that's cool. Um, it's by Bandai. And the packaging is really beat up, but that's okay. Um, at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it. There it goes. It says 1998. So that's when this figure was made. And it was made in China. And I 
I've been wanting this figure um, literally for, oh my gosh, a long, long time. It's been a seriously long time that I have yearned for this figure. And as soon as I, after I rewatched Slayers recently, because one of my friends, again, referred to it as my, uh, my holy grail of anime. So I rewatched it because it is one of those things that you see on your shelf and you're just like, I haven't watched that in a while. And so you rewatch it just because it's that good and you enjoy it. So I rewatched it and then I thought, you know, I never have really looked to see if that figure is still out there because now I make money. <laughs> um, and I can probably buy something, like treat yourself. So I was like, I want to treat myself to the uh, Lena figure. And uh, so, yeah, so I went online and I was able to find a seller selling their copy and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Totally. I actually was able to find two, but one of them was over a hundred dollars, um, and just I couldn't, couldn't bring myself to do it. I couldn't, and so I thought, well, maybe I'll find one cheaper. And then, like, literally right the next day, um, somebody else uh, was selling theirs, and I was just like, oh, you, you're the one. You were meant to give me your Lena. So I now I have Lena. And she's amazing. She comes with her stand, and she is gorgeous. I'm just so happy right now. Um, I'm going to show you the back. Okay, so this is the back. And this is the... They only made two. There was rumors for a while there was an Amelia, but I've never seen pictures, ever. Um, maybe it was a Risen kit, but I have yet to see pictures of that either. But this is from Slayer's Try, which is the third season. And uh, it's got a little thing, I'm guessing, on Lena and the story. And probably about the figure, I don't know. I can't read Japanese. <laughs> um, a really good, nice, detailed picture of Lena. A picture of Gowry, which they're probably saying, you know, this is Gowry. This is who the little chibi figure included is. And saying that Philia is also available. And then you could just get some really nice shots of the anime with the main four and her and Amelia, and Lena. And the one thing I never did understand about this, these figures, I had always seen the Lena and the Philia, I never understood that, I get it that it's Slayer's Try, so the third season revolves kind of around Philia and her problem and stuff, but why didn't they make an Amelia? Because she's the, the other girl in the group, and she's, and she's so popular, and Obviously, since Lena came with Gowry, and Philia comes with Zelos, then Alina, uh, Amelia would probably come with Salgatis, but there, I've never seen a figure, and it just eats me alive, because I have a Gowry Risen kit that I need somebody to do for me, and fix up and everything, so that I can have that. If you know anybody that does Risen kits, send them my way. Um, but, yeah, I never did understand why it was just these two... And they didn't make a third because I would have loved to have all three as a set. But because they didn't make an Amelia, I don't feel the need to get Philia. Because she really isn't my favorite character or anything. She's really pretty and she's funny. And I really want the little Zelos that comes with her. But I don't have a dire need for her like I did Lena. So, yeah. This is kind of just a side, uh, side review slash unboxing. I'm really bad at unboxing as you can tell because I just don't ever do them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a figure review on her very, very soon, so look forward to that if it's not out already, and I will see you guys later, so bye. Gary's so cute. <laughs>